How you doing? It's Mark from Love of Wheels, and we are going up the world-famous Loma Vista Drive in Beverly Hills. And this is a very steep street. Um, this is the side on Coldwater Canyon that I'm going up first. And uh, it's 25 miles an hour as you go up this. And we're going to see how the little Navi does. The little Navi has less than 100 miles on it. It's still bone stock. I will be modifying it down the road. But for right now, uh, it's not even broken in yet. But we're going to we're gonna break it in a little bit going up this road. And we're going to see what it can do. So this is pretty steep. This part right here, as you can see, it's, uh, it's a pretty steep grade. Now, no, this is not the steepest road. But it's the steepest road near where I live. So... It's a good steep street to test out the uh, the old Navi and see what it does. So I just picked this thing up, and I'm going to be doing a lot of these drive videos. Uh, I hope you enjoy this one. I'm uh, filming it with the new GoPro. Now what's really interesting is you come up here. This is all kind of new up here in Beverly Hills. You got these roundabouts, and um, we're going to be going down. This is the most dangerous part of the road that we're going to be going down. And I'm going to take you down it. We're also very close to Jay Leno's house. He lives uh, just a few blocks from here. I'll, I'll save that for another video. So what that sign says, it says steep grade. And we're coming up on this stop sign. This is new. I don't know why they put this in here. I guess to slow people down. But as you can see, there's nothing on either side. It's not like there's an intersection or anything like that. Uh, but they did put a stop sign there. I guess that is to slow people down. But the thing is, you'll see after this, they want you to go 25 miles an hour. Now, and use low gear. Now, we cannot do that with the Navi because it does not, you cannot downshift gears because it is a CVT. But if you let off on the gas and you're going down a steep hill, the engine compression will slow the bike down. You know, it's keeping it going, you know, 25 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour. Don't really want to speed too much in here. Uh, you can see on the science that we're going 22, pretty accurate uh, to what my speedometer is saying. So you can't really tell, but this is a pretty steep grade. And a few people have died. Uh, runaway trucks hit other vehicles, burned up brakes. And at the very bottom of this, they do have a runaway ramp. I don't think we're going to go all the way to the bottom. I might, because it starts to level out, and I really want to turn around and go back up the hill. Uh, but um, as you can see here, it is a pretty steep grade. And the bike is doing great. It's actually doing really well. I was really concerned because this is my first bike with drum brakes since when I was a kid. I had a Honda Express, a little 50, 49cc bike, and that did have drum brakes. And this bike does remind me a lot of that bike uh, because it was carbureted. And I'm coming from, I'll tell you, the Honda motorcycle dealer thought I was insane. You know, I wanted to trade in a Honda PCX. So I basically downgraded from a Honda PCX. I had a PCX 125. And I can tell you, that was a pretty fast bike. It would do 65, 70 miles an hour stock. And um, I basically downgraded. It was a 2014. And I've ha I got it new and I had it for a number of years. And it was time for a new bike, even though there was nothing wrong with that bike. And boy, it would start up every time. It was perfect, zero problems with it whatsoever. Uh, I think I only had about 3,000, 3 or 4,000 miles on it. Still had the original tires. And so I was at a, uh, I was at, and I did all my own maintenance myself. Uh, and you know, I didn't ride that much, so I would just change the oil. Uh, each you know every year I guess you could change it every six months but I would put the Honda synthetic oil in and that's really all you needed to do with that bike it was pretty good but it was old and you know it was time for the tires to be replaced even though they had good tread on them you know it, it was time so a little bit of money was going to be needed to put into that bike so I decided well I think it was time for that bike to go so I got rid of that bike pretty quickly and actually I was able to get into this bike uh, once I uh, got rid of that bike, I was able to exactly what I got out of it. Pretty much got this bike here. Got a brand new Han Navi. And, you know, I bought this because it was fun. And not because it's, you know, it's not as fast as the other bike, even though I plan to do some modifications to it. But um, I do want to keep it quiet because, you know, I do like to ride around in these neighborhoods at night and I don't want to be heard. 
So I do want to get that Yoshimura exhaust, but I'm probably going to get the silencer kit. Um, maybe do a little bit more research on it before I get that, because I, I like the quietness of this bike. Even though I don't really like what this exhaust looks on this bike, um, I like uh, I like the stealthiness of the bike, uh, it being quiet. So you can see uh, we're pulling up this road pretty good. It's not having a problem climbing whatsoever, and we are slowing down a little bit, and um, but we are maintaining uh, 25 miles an hour. So it's going to get a little steeper in a minute. It's really weird, you know, in Beverly Hills, they have all these roundabouts now, and that's new. I think in like the last year and a half, we've seen that. And this guy, boy, he sure does look a lot like Ben Stiller. That's either Ben Stiller or Ben Stiller's photo double right there. All right, so back on the road, and it's getting a little steeper now, and we're slowing down now, like 24 miles an hour, I would say. 24, 23, so I'm about 195, six foot two, so it's it's doing pretty good. Uh, I had a Honda Elite 110, it, that was fuel injected, and this bike, maybe that bike was a tad quicker, um, but I think it feels, the engine I think on that bike was the same. I can't remember if that was air-cooled or water-cooled, but it definitely did have the uh, electronic fuel injection. And that's the only thing I would say about this bike, it's like how much did they save? by making it carbureted uh, because you know going to a carbureted bike in 2023 well okay I guess it's really not that bad you can see we're slowing down now we're down to like 21 22 miles an hour but this is probably the steepest part of Loma Vista Drive and it's still pulling it up no problem and uh, you know it's a pretty I would say it's about 68 degree day so it's not, uh, I don't think we're going to be overheating or anything like that. And um, yeah, it sounds just fine. It sounds like everything is working along just fine. But we're really working this bike, you know. We don't really have, you know, just barely 100 miles on it. So, but it seems like it's doing, uh, doing fine. And now we're leveling off now. And now we've reached the top. So we've made it up here no problem. And now I'm going to show you my next favorite uh, spot as we get to the top here. I think I'm gonna fast forward to Coldwater Canyon Drive because off of Cherokee, we're gonna be going down to Cherokee. When you get to Cherokee and Coldwater Canyon, I think I'm gonna do uh, this roundabout a little bit. And uh, all right, let's head back down and let me fast forward to Coldwater Canyon Drive and then we'll wrap this up. All right, so here we are at Cherokee and Coldwater Canyon. And this is my favorite. I love this part, especially when it's I hit the light here and there's no cars ahead. And you can see the Navi is having no problem at all, you know, getting up to speed on this road. And you know, the spike actually takes off pretty quickly. And um, you know, it, it gets up to 40 miles an hour just like that. It basically can get up to 40, 45. And that's after that, that's when things start slowing down. And I haven't really explored its top speed because, you know, I am trying to be gentle with it and break it in. Uh, I don't want to abuse it. But, um, yeah, it does get up to speed here pretty good. You can see 40 miles an hour, you know, going uphill. Uh, but this is my favorite section, one of my one of my favorite sections of the Coldwater Canyon because I love these long straightaways on the back side here, on the Beverly Hills side. And... Um, I like going down the other side too, but it's always busy. It's, I mean, it's it's fun to ride it like early on a Sunday morning when there's nobody on it. But see here now we got cars up ahead, but it is fun. So guys, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. So uh, be sure to check back on my channel for some more driving videos. I think the next one we're gonna explore some of uh, up off of Mulholland Drive. We're gonna go up and around some of these uh, fire roads, some of the paved fire roads back there, and that's kind of fun. So I think that I'll save that for the next video. And, uh, yeah, so we'll see you then. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for tuning in.